What's going on guys? Alex here with not a market watch video, which we haven't done those in a while, but a deck profile video of Zodiac Tri Brigade or Tri Brigade Zodiac, whichever you want to call it. Uh, I believe this is going to be the next best deck after the ban list. So post ban list, I'm currently six and two, which would be out of eight matches. I won six, lost two. If you guys didn't do math there, if you guys need help with that, um, my only two losses are to Eldritch the Golden Lord. And the reason being is because they play 20 plus hand traps. Nibiru being one of them. Gamma being second. And Didi Crow hurts the deck a lot. It's not about the banishing or anything like that. It's mostly the Didi Crow. Uh, if you want to win against this deck, you have to play Didi Crow. And I'm going to be doing uh, another video of this. Uh, ways, which is going to be another series I'm going to do for you guys. Uh, ways to beat decks. So... This deck, uh, the you know, top five cards that could beat it and use it, etc. etc. So, I'm gonna be doing stuff like that, um, for the next years. I am planning on doing it. Um, but the deck is pretty good, it's very solid. Like I said, six out of two. Um, last locals, I ended up fifth place, the one before that, I ended up fourth place. So, I'm there, uh, poking, poking, but golden lore, anything that banishes, it's pretty hard matchup. So, this is my deck profile. This is uh, going first. Or go in second. Mostly uh, with Zuri, you do want to go first. And yeah, let's get started. It's a very, very good deck. I'm having a lot of fun since I've stopped playing at Emancipators. I gave up on it. <laughs> so this is the next best thing that I spend money on it. And I'm liking it. Uh, three Zodiac Whiptails. Uh, best card. Easiest way to out Dragoon, honestly. Um, Dragoon or any problematic monster, you want to go around it. Honestly, dude. It doesn't act. Um, just happens. Um, it just happens, you know. Okay, bye, Dragoon. Here you go. Uh -huh. We win. Savage. Any zoos? I mean, any problematic monster that you want to get rid of, just attach Whiptail, honestly. Um, next, second best card of the deck would be, um, Zodiac, uh, Thorblade. The fact that you can dump Ram Ram or any Zodiac monster and draw a card lets you deep deeper into your deck. And you, it's a one card combo. So as long as you open a Zodiac, two Zodiacs or a Zodiac, uh, you're set to go. Um, very, very good card. Ram Ram being arguably, arguably the best card in the whole deck. The fact that you can pop it with Dryden and bring back your Chalk and I, then overlay it to Tiger Mortar, and then use it again to bring... It's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You can make Appaloosa in this deck fairly easy. Uh, there are certain variants that I'm running. This is one variant. I'm going to be doing a second variant. Uh, probably on Sunday after Locals, and I test it. And then Monday and then next Wednesday, I'll probably do another variant of this the same deck um, that changes up a little bit. And ratios and everything, you just can't take cards out and then go. It's not like that. It's not that easy. And uh, then one wrapped here because that one and it's the best foolish burial. And you just go off with this. Send Ram Ram and then you got full combo, right? So that's only we're playing nine Zodiac Monsters, small, small little package. Um, that's all you need. It's a splashable engine that you can throw it in anything. Uh, for the Tri Brigade stuff, dude, uh, I were playing three Frank Talls. I was playing two of these, but three is the right amount. I'll be testing it for two, three weeks now. And uh, Frank Tall at three, it's your best option, honestly. The fact that you can send uh, Nerval and then add your Keras, you need consistency as much as possible. And most people are not ashen Frank Tall, and they're not ashen your uh, your Nerval, which honestly you should be ashen Frank Tall because that sends two monsters into the grave, and I can't get my special summon, so I can't go into my Smortling. So um, people are gonna understand this deck little by little, but you we don't we by then we probably add cards like TTT etc etc. Uh, Karis, you max this at three. Uh, people say no, I'm running a two because you can search it. Yeah, you can search it, but I'd rather have it in hand than searching it because if Frank Tall gets stopped and you don't have another way to go to a tri brigade, you can you can hard draw this, and it's an easy bait because I drew uh, Karis and Frank Tall, and I'll be like Frank Tall, Nerval, add Karis, and then like okay, nothing. I'll be like well, Karis, normal, um, negate, blah blah. They're like okay, special, or you can dump the order Karis for it, whichever you want to do. Uh, Nerval, we're playing two. Which should get a super OTS, uh, OTS 15, super, I'm calling it now. So your boy heard it first. You heard it from your boy first. Nervo just being, you don't want to play this at one because if you hard draw it, then it's hard to get rid of it from your hand. 
and it, Nerval's not that good, but you do, if you hard drive, you at least want to keep a copy in the deck. If you want to banish Nerval and late grind games with Eldritch or any um, control deck that you want to hard, uh, grind, you have to run it too. That's the way my local set up right now, so that's why I'm playing too. Of course, you can change the ratios, but, you know, whichever you want to do and makes you feel comfortable with the deck. This is a 42 card build um, for certain reasons. Uh, cards that, you know, you run because you can, it's two alpha and then one bear statue. This is the one we're doing. Um, next profiles, I'm going to do the other, um, the other stuff you need for it. You know, the infinite gate loop and the other stuff you can do with it. Um, why not three? Because you only need two. Um, if you need it, you can search it after, um, late game with, um, your link four. And this is nice because you just summon it on defense and your opponent goes okay normal on battle phase you stop their combo at least you're not gonna die that turn which that's what the deck doesn't want to do you don't you don't end up with mass negates. so any combo deck that wants to kill you in turn one that's why this is good that's why you stop dragon link that's why you pretty much you stop any combo deck. honestly you could stop shoot you can stop the mirror match with it too if you really think about it uh, it put in work most of the time it just doesn't last more than one turn so, I mean, that's all you need it for. You need to slow down your opponent and then just go off next turn. Now for hand traps, we are playing a heavy, heavy package of hand traps because combo is still around and you don't want to lose to combo. So first up, we have three Nibiru's because it's the best, best card you can use against any combo, Drake, Dragon Link, etc., etc. You have three Ash Blossoms because it's the best one and Ash Blossoms is going to go higher and higher right now, dude. If this doesn't get an ultra printed, you better get your secret Ashes. Um, your first is at least not your limiteds. Your limiteds I could care less. You know, whoever plays unlimited, so you're just bad at the game. How do you have ulti whip tails and you don't have secret ashes? You're just bad at the game. Uh three gammas with the lonely driver because you have to play where are your collector rare, dude. You don't play collector rares? I thought you were a baller. Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> we haven't made YouTube money to be like that. Uh Valors, because this could be impermanence, but I have Valors because um I sold my impermanence. Well I traded my impermanence for something. For um, my Starlight Zeus. So um, I kind of had to do it because I wanted it. And then everyone's playing Lynx. So two Phantasmas to just dig deeper into your deck. To get your outs. To get your hand traps. To get your starters. Get your Dark Ruler No More. Get your Droplets. You know, your TTTs. Anything that may help you to win the game. So we're playing 14 hand traps. I mean, if you could have the, the Alphas, you're playing, you know, 16 to 17. Um, that's the way it's looking right now, the format. Unless we go super, super controlled, then beers are going to get taken out, and you're going to keep pretty much your gammas and stuff like that. So, um, if we do go in control format, most likely beers are going to be droplets. I'll tell you that right now. And, um, yeah, that's it. Not bad. I mean, Fantasmic just, it's just nice. It does. And you can do Nibiru Fantasmic combo, which is, um, the little trick you can do with them too, which is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, eight minutes in, we have to hurry up, right? Because we don't want to make this too long. Too tanky because it searches anything you want. Uh, two avarice because you're not always banishing. And turn one, this is great to draw cards and get to your trap brigade stuff, or you just want to get more hand traps. You know, that's the way it's working right now. One barrage, so it completes an 11 card uh, Zodiac, and then of course we are maining one Harpy's Feather because we do have quite a bit control players in my locals and Harpy's Feather won me games against it won me the games against Phantom Knights with the new Phantom Knights and their three negate boards they can do and stuff like that he wins games by itself uh Golden Lord he slows them down but if you can't OTK them then you know you just give them advantage but this is good at where it's at that many spells it's very, very good. So now let's go to extra deck because that's what you guys want to see, right? So extra deck's tight. We only run, uh, you know, it's very tight. So this is the ratios right now. One blossom. Uh, you don't need more than two. I tested it at two. You, you don't need the second one. You can recycle it. Um, you only need a one. It's only a starter. It's not that good. So you only need one. Another one-off. If you're going first, it would be the uh, Double Dragon Lords because you can bounce stuff. Very, very good against Dragon Link. Uh, Zamor Link because you're doing that combo with the Barrier Statue. Uh, kills any Rogue deck. 
or any deck that can out this. So Dragon Link can out this, Rogue Dice can out this. It's very, very good. And then you're playing one Omni, which I sometimes you want to play two, but it I haven't run to that scenario that you need to, but it would be nice, but we can't at the moment because this is just too tight right now with the extra deck we'll put that there now we're gonna go to zodiac combo which is gonna be pretty standard for now uh two chakonites because your monster reborn it uh two to attach it and then two borbo borbo um because that's pretty much your good stuff one hammer kong your one dryant because that's pretty much zodiac um we need dry you don't need dry in the two or three uh, it would be nice, but you can recycle this pretty, pretty easy with, you know, uh, Chaka Knight and, and uh, Tiger Morded. So, uh, one is perfectly fine at one. You you don't need more than one. I, I, I mean, if I had the option to play three, I'll play three. But you don't. And then lastly, but not least, we are playing two Sus. We're playing one one Starlight and then one Seeker Rare. We are on the process of getting a second Starlight, but we'll see if my dog, my bee, wants to get rid of it for, for your boy, you know, help the channel. At least he could let me borrow it, you know what I'm saying, to do the, the profile, but, you know, he didn't. So there's that. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, side deck, I guess we'll do it for you guys since every side deck changes for locals, etc., etc. This is just the way I'm doing, and this is the way I would bring it to regionals. Um, if regionals are back, but remote duels, what we got, we're doing three lands here because everything is vanishing, and you want to stop Golden Lord and you want to stop your Zodiac Mirror match as well. One Prankatops because it's Prankatops, it's a great, great card. What else you want from Prankatops? Uh, Alpha would have been bust if it was Prankatops. Two Lightning Storms because control matchups, you want to you wanna destroy them. Three Strikes, of course, because you want to. You, if you're going first, you definitely want to destroy, you know, be as much control as possible. And a card I would suggest in my next market watch that I'm going to talk about would be uh, Dimensional Barrier. We're getting into an XYZ slash Synchro format with Virtual World. This wins games. This wins games in mirror matches against Virtual Worlds. It's putting work. Uh, you can arguably put this against Orcas if you run to an Orcas player, but this puts in work, dude. So... That's all I got for the deck profile. I hope you guys liked it. It's a little bit longer than I thought it would be, but I talked too much. And I'll start making more videos for you guys. Just been busy. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share, share, share. Help your boy quit his real job because he does want to quit it. But I can't do it until this takes off, right? And uh, stay tuned for 200 plus subscribers. We're doing another giveaway. We're probably going to do, I don't know, whatever out there. And we'll probably do a vote for it. Thank you guys so much. You guys be safe and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Peace.